हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल ऑल अबाउट बायोलॉजी एंड दिस इज ज्योति वर्मा टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट प्रोडक्टिविटी विच रिफर्स टू द रेट ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ बायोमास और ऑर्गेनिक मैटर इन एन इको सिस्टम इट इज एक्सप्रेस इन मास पर यूनिट एरिया पर यूनिट टाइप हाव एवर बायोमास रिफर्स टू द अमाउंट ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मैटर प्रेजेंट इन एनी गिवन टाइम बायोमास कैन बी कैटेगराइज इन टू टू डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज ड्राई बायोमास एंड वेट बायोमास ड्राई बायोमास इंक्लूड्स द मास ऑफ लिविंग मैटर आफ्टर इट हैज बीन ड्राइड टू अ कॉन्स्टेंट मास हाव एवर वेट बायोमास रिफर्स टू द मास ऑफ लिविंग मैटर इंक्लूडिंग इट्स वॉटर कंटेंट now coming to the types of productivity so here firstly we will taking up primary productivity primary productivity is basically the rate at which primary producers like the photoautotrophs and the chemoautotrophs produce biomass per unit area it is basically refers to as primary productivity because it is the productivity by the primary producers it includes gross primary productivity and net primary productivity coming to our first type of primary productivity that is the gross primary productivity and it is the rate of production of total organic matter during photosynthesis so the total amount of organic matter that is produced by the primary producers is called as the gross primary productivity or it can also be expressed as it is the total amount of chemical energy or the organic compounds which are fixed by photosynthesis for a given unit of land surface for a given unit of time if we take it as example then the gross primary productivity can be 2500 grams per meter square per year so it is expressed as mass per unit area per time coming to our next category that is the net primary productivity net primary productivity is the rate at which energy is stored as biomass by the primary producers or it is made available to the consumers in the ecosystem gross primary productivity was the total amount of productivity however net primary productivity is the energy that is stored as biomass or it can be expressed as the amount of energy stored energy that is left after the respiration it can be expressed as gpp minus the energy lost through respiration for example our gpp was earlier 2500 2500 and suppose the energy lost through respiration is 500 so 2000 grams per meter square per year will be your npp that is your net primary productivity the energy left after the respiration okay so that is the formula of npp net primary productivity is equals to gross primary productivity minus the energy lost through respiration coming to our secondary productivity so secondary productivity is the rate of production of organic matter by the consumers however primary productivity was the rate of production of organic matter by the primary producers however it is the rate of production of organic matter by the consumers per unit area per unit time and we have net community productivity that is your the energy left after the subtraction of respiration energy of both producers and consumers from gpp so that is your net community productivity the overall productivity of the community can be expressed as gpp minus energy of producers and consumers okay so that is your net community productivity that is all about for today if you like the video just subscribe to my channel for further updates thank you so much